Campus Health and Wellbeing states that depression strikes nearly 20 million Americans each year, and that two-thirds of the people suffering from depression don't seek the necessary treatment. The author of the poem that I'll be reading to you committed suicide at the age of 30 due to her depression. Our generation, though, the good news is that we're a generation that's trying to change social stigmas associated with mental illnesses and depression. And I was hoping that through this poem that I could just emphasize that and show how we need to continue that sympathy and give us an idea about what people who are struggling with mental illness and depression are going through. So let me present to you The Arrival of the Beatbox by Sylvia Plath. I ordered this clean wood box, square as a chair and almost too heavy to lift. I would say it was the coffin of a midget or a square baby where they're not such a dinner. The box is locked. It is dangerous. I have to live with it overnight, and I can't keep away from it. There are no windows, so I can't see what's in there. There's only a grid, no exit. I put my eye to the grid. It is dark, dark, with the swarmy feeling of African hands minute and shrunk for export, black on black, angrily clambering. How can I let them out? It is the noise that appalls me most of all. The unintelligible symbols. It is like a Roman mob, small, taken one by one, but my God, together. I lay my ear to furious Latin. <laughs> I am not a Caesar. I have simply ordered this box of maniacs. But they can be sent back. They can die. I need feed them nothing. I am the owner. I wonder how hungry they are. I wonder if they would forget me if I just undid the locks and stood back and turned into a tree. There's a labyrinth and it's gone colonnades, and the petticoats of the cherry. They might ignore me immediately in my moon suit and funeral veil. I am no source of honey, so why should they turn on me? Tomorrow, I will be sweet God. I will suffer fruit. The box is only. Tomorrow.